There's a large gate up ahead, and beyond it, a cluster of ancient ruins. The temple, or the heir of ours, as my people call it, can only be reached by passing through them. Time to fight. The forest is crawling with life, most of it hungry, which is why we make sure this gate stays shut. And why you carry that impressive looking axe, I presume? Hmm. Noticed her, have you? There. Don't worry, those cliffs aren't the only way to the top. Come on. Faster! Are these the ruins? Yes. As far as we can tell, they're part of the same complex as the temple itself. To think of all the people who must once have lived here.
Americano. Vaya Prusia. Is that beast ringing? Be safe. Blacksmith that has an appetite for these things. Please remind me of home. You're from the north, then? Yes. Do you see that cave up ahead? Whoever lived here carved a flight of stairs into the stone within. Away to the top. And whatever it is that awaits us there. There, the temple that time forgot. And the various inside? Yes, you can see the spell's path from the nave. I don't know. It's... 
It's probably nothing. Forgive me, but why build the Vare here? The spell was originally meant to be cast on Drake's eye, and this was the only place with an unbroken line of sight. The Tarkarees like to think these ruins are their own. They look none too pleased to see us. suffering. Be their leader. You're more than welcome to us. Too slow.
That could have been worse. I suppose. Aye, ah, well, if the forest's taught me anything, it's that there's always something worse. Is that 
about the nave? Just inside the dome, yes. But it's what's out here that worries me. Slow. 
like the Surge. Hmm. Another of my ancestors' sins. Shall we? Blue Veil shows the extent of the spell's reach. But I can feel its ether from here. Shula, wait. Before we cross the threshold, I'd like to know a little more about how these magics work. I assume we'll be safe from their influence. We won't grind to a halt, if that's what you mean. The spell only affects the things that were present at the moment it was cast. Other things can, as well. Like the ones we saw on the way here. And worse, probably. Is this Leviathan's doing? Well, it certainly wasn't ours. When he realized my ancestors were attempting to cast a spell from here, he made to destroy the temple. And almost did, by the looks of it. Thank you. 
place must have been like before the attack. This would have been a hall of worship. There was something similar in my father's keep. The priests would deliver their sermons from the dais. Your father? Last climb, man. Familiar, yes. I sensed it the moment we arrived, though I wasn't sure until now. You can feel it too, can't you, Clive? She's calling us. You don't mean the witch? I do. Though she was more than that. Much more. She was a dominant. A dominant who once commanded the icon that now resides in both me and Clive. Of course. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't see it. Who else would have the power to freeze time? None other than Shiva herself. But for her ether to endure after all these years, it... It's almost as if... As if she shared it with another, just as Torgal shared in my eyes.
slow. its mistress. Then it leaves us no choice.
It's getting angrier by the moment. We better cut this short. Now let's destroy it, and put an end to this. Wait. The spell must be weakened, not undone. Isn't that what we came here for? Did you ever stop to wonder what might happen to the tidal surge if I unraveled the whole spell at once? I didn't think so. This is going to require a bit more. Finesse. From wind and light, water and earth, let the silent pall of my ice. There's too much ether. Let me help. Let us help. Almost! Did it work? I think so. The thread connecting this place to the child should be broken. Mean and Walias should finally be. F 
free once more. Leviathan, our most profaned fragment, its divinity defiled by the hand of man, its spirit shackled by his hubris, till Muthos came, bringing release. Now, let the sins of man be redeemed by the hand of the servant of God. After 80 years of imprisonment, I'd be angry too. But I can't let it end like this, Wallace. It's time for you to come home. Too close.
wasn't what I wanted. I only hope you can forgive me.
Leviathan. Stop this! I'm not here to play!
Not this time. He is now. But did you see him a few moments ago? <laughs> Clive, I... I don't know how to thank you.
There. He's finally asleep. The poor thing had a long day. That makes two of us. So... What happens now? Now? Now, we make things right. How? By providing Walias what he was denied. A place to learn and grow. A family to love and protect him. So that one day, when the wounds in his heart and mind have finally healed, he might decide for himself how he'd like to live the rest of his life. But until then, I'll stay by his side, come what may. Then he's a lucky boy. And not only because he'll have the best warrior this side of the belt to teach him the battle axe. Hmm. She'll do her best. Shula. The beast that threatened your home is tamed. The empire that threatened your people toppled. Might it not be time to cast off your ancestors' glamour and retake your place in the twins? Perhaps. It's not as if we have the crystals to maintain the wall much longer. But are we truly safe? Is the world truly ready to accept us for who we are and what we believe? If I remember rightly, you and yours still choose to remain hidden, do you not? We do. Well, your people will always be welcome in Haven, regardless. As will yours in the hideaway. We're allies now. If there's anything you need from us, supplies, food, equipment, do not hesitate to ask. It's kind of you to offer. But we'll manage, just as we always have. Besides, I suspect you'll be needing everything at your disposal if you're going to save the world. I fear much of it is past saving. The best we can do is strive to turn what's left into a world where we can all live as equals. A noble endeavor. And there'll be a place in this world for us, will there? For Walias. For everyone. I swear it. Then we shall be waiting until the tides bear you back to shore. Do you think he'll be all right? Well, yes. Only time will tell. But I can certainly think of worse places to spend one's childhood. The moats of water are a fine people, and they will take good care of him. Up by the Vare, Ultima spoke to me. She called Leviathan his most profaned fragment, and told me to redeem the sins that had laid him low. Is that so? The sins of Walias' ancestors were grave indeed. To force him to prime at so tender an age. And to freeze him in time. That he might never know what it was to live. Yet I doubt either of those crimes was the source of Ultima's displeasure. It was that the Icon's power had been put to another purpose than the one he intended. To him, Leviathan must have seemed an aberration. Could that be why Ultima made no attempt to lead me to him? The fear that this profane fragment might corrupt his vessel somehow? Perhaps. 
Or perhaps he simply deemed Leviathan surplus to requirements. Having concluded that his vessel might be made to serve his purposes without the full sum of his power. His purposes? There's no escaping them. Even here. Hidden away in Mesidia, the blessing of the crystals proved nothing but a prison. A prison into which Wallius was born, and from which freedom is hard won. If the world doesn't change, if we don't change it, he'll end up suffering the same fate as every dominant who came before him. Then we must change it. That we must. And we shall. <laughs>